socialite Lizzie Cundy has insisted that Meghan Markle wanted a celebrity boyfriend before tying the knot with Prince Harry. In a new Channel 5 documentary, Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy, the broadcaster shed some light on her views on the royal wedding. Meghan wanted to have a celebrity boyfriend, and she definitely got that with Prince Harry. Forget the red carpets in Hollywood, this was something else, Lizzie commented. She explained, it's a lot easier if you have a boyfriend that understands the press and understands fame, and she got that with Prince Harry. They just got on like a house on fire, she added of their blind date. The documentary also emphasized Meghan's existing relationships with Hollywood icons like Oprah Winfrey, George Clooney, and James Corden. Lizzie has never hidden her views of her former pal Meghan, and was even keen on setting the future Duchess up with an English boyfriend in the early days. Writing for Grazia, she said, it's a different world going from celebrity to royalty, and a whole different life. She wanted fame and she was open about that. She has that sparkle, that magic. But I don't think she knew how hard it was going to be. Speaking of Meghan's first arrival in the UK, Lizzie added, Meghan said she loved London, and would love an English boyfriend, so I went through my phone to see who I knew that might be a good fit. Since being ghosted by Meghan, however, the former This Morning star hasn't hesitated in hitting out at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Speaking on GB News in January, she swiped at the pair, I don't think anyone is actually interested in what they have to say anymore. They said they wanted privacy, well then stop doing the books, the interviews. For me, for one, I feel they're in it for the money and I'm not interested anymore and I say that from the heart. I feel a lot of people agree with me and it isn't because she ghosted me. Besides, the author of Royal Fever described how LA-born Meghan continues to draw from her past experience as an actress to navigate the different type of fame she now possesses. Professor Otten said, her actress identity is still very much alive for her. She has not given up the identity of an actress. So, a lot of the time, she acts. Professor Otten described how Meghan likely understands the limelight in terms of her acting fame, given her California upbringing and celebrity culture on the U.S. West Coast. She added, I think Meghan wants to be seen as a celebrity in the U.S. That's her frame of reference. She was born in Los Angeles. She wanted to be an actress. This is the sphere in which she always wanted to succeed. Meghan's earlier acting career is something she has scarcely mentioned in interviews since joining, then leaving, the royal family. But in her second sit-down interview, since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made the move across the Atlantic to Meghan's home state in March 2020, Meghan teased nostalgic details of her acting career. Speaking to personal friend Ellen DeGeneres in November 2021, the Duchess opened up about her life in Montecito, and participated in a series of embarrassing challenges in a pre-recorded segment. The appearance, which steered away from the controversial split from the British monarchy, focused on domestic life for the Duke and Duchess alongside their two young children, Archie, two, and Lilibet, who is eight months old. Although more light-hearted than the Duke and Duchess feature with Oprah Winfrey earlier in the year, the episode of The Allen Show was nonetheless a disaster for the Duchess, claimed Professor Attens. She said, I was mortified for her. I thought, are you kidding me? You're not a sitcom actress. Meghan described how she would often visit the same Warner Brothers studio where The Allen Show was filmed to audition for parts. She recalled, the security guards would always say, break a leg. We hope you get it. So the drive-in today was very different. She then picked out the very, very old Ford Explorer sport she had which had a life of its own when she traveled to the studios. She added, at a certain point, the key stopped working on the driver's side, so you couldn't get yourself in through the door. Hash. So after auditions, I would park at the back of the parking lot, and I would open the trunk and climb in, and then pull it shut behind me, and crawl over all my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro.